Well, 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 if it isn't the consequences of my own decisions. This time with titties so bountiful, they may actually crush me to death. Uh, Miss Applegate, could I maybe not go to detention? How about I just slowly back away and we both pretend like I didn't just introduce a tire iron to one of your students' knees? What's up, guys? Welcome back to Paint the Town Red, that game where anything is possible. Your imagination is the only limit to what could be created in this game thanks to the workshop. So of course, people send me on a blind date with a girl who has crabs. <laughs> Lady, I'm really sorry, okay? It's been a lovely evening, but you aren't coming home with me. I'm not really in the market for an itchy wiener right now. That being said, we could always try putting my meat in your mouth. Oh god, okay. It's an innuendo overload. Get me out of here. <laughs> Would you believe bludgeoning a woman to death with your meat in the middle of a restaurant not only sounds like the worst game of Clue ever, but is also illegal? So like I've gone to prison, but not just any prison. So I've gone to jail plenty of times, and this is like my 15th strike. So they sent me to a place called SCP Death Row which sounds absolutely delightful. Uh, this is my cellmate, Jamal, and as you can probably tell, Jamal was born without butt cheeks. So all of the toilets around here are kind of a form of cruel and unusual punishment, but don't worry about it, Jamal. I'll only maintain strong eye contact as you take a dump while I'm doing this intro. After that, I'll give you a little bit of privacy. You know I'm not exactly the kind to judge. Oh, that's not good. Uh, I don't really feel like being D-class personnel in a place called SCP Death Row. <laughs> so maybe we should prioritize escaping? Which is often easier said than done. Of course the guards would all be heavily armed, and all of the exits would be heavily guarded. <laughs> so I might need to take a look around and see if I can find myself a weapon or two? Or maybe... a friend? Well, if it isn't one-eyed Willy and his two balls, how is it hanging, gentlemen? <laughs> Listen, I don't know about you guys, but I really don't want to become SCP poop in the next couple of days. So how about we rustle this cage and get the hell out of here? Like, we've got a guy on the inside. So when Jamal and I give the words, you guys just unleash hell here in the cafeteria. I have no doubt you'll be able to find something to complain about. Looks like Jamal didn't get too far after sampling Taco Tuesday. <laughs> This may honestly be the first prison I've ever been to where they have more guards than prisoners. <laughs> Which would usually be a huge problem because it means that they planned ahead, but they were not smart enough to split up Fluffles and I. <gasps> Fluffles, why am I not surprised to find you here clutching your meat in the fetal position with this six foot two black guy shoveled deep in your butthole? <laughs> I swear, jail is like a speed dating app for this guy. And what exactly are you two doing here in your bulletproof corsets? Just watching the show. There is something really kinky happening over here in this corner, and it does not concern me. Fuffles, you know the plan by now. We've done it time and time again. I'll call on you when needed, but for now, just enjoy yourself, I guess. I'm not really up to date on my death row monster facility signage requirements, but I'm just gonna hope that everything is up to code and that I'm actually allowed in here. Okay, it's a bathroom, and that is one big fluffles. <laughs> not gonna stare at you. You, however, are an opportunity. No one is watching in here. I, I could just kick this guy into the urinal and steal his weapon and key. All I'm doing right now is just breathing on his neck as I think about it. <gasps> we'll keep that in mind. That's definitely a possibility. Oh, we've got some repair people. I guess they brought their fix-it katana? Okay, this is definitely gonna come in handy. I'd imagine the guards will not be pleased if they see me with this. 
Don't ask where I had to stuff that katana to smuggle it back to our cell, but Jamal has it now. We're gonna use it for the escape. But right now, I'm kinda interested in what's behind these doors, because it could be supernatural and wanting to eat my ass. And not in the good way, so I'm gonna strategically use my lunch to scope the place out. Oh, we are definitely gonna wanna rush this place. I don't suppose I could go get my lunch back, could I? No, okay, that, that that's fine. It was a little undercooked anyway. So what do we have behind door number two? Live entertainment? Oh, it's just a break room. So where are the monsters? <gasps> of course. You guys would be hiding the SCPs back here, right? Great, well, I hope those shock sticks are ready because I get the feeling they're gonna come flooding out here any second. Well, it's not exactly the best job I've ever seen hiding contraband. <laughs> but I don't think the maid is clued in, so good job, Jamal. Can you maybe drop what you're doing? We got a prison to burn. I'm gonna go get the guy in the bathroom and hope that nobody notices. I can't close the doors, but you never know, maybe they just won't spot me. Oh, okay, no, all oh, hell is broken loose. <gasps> well, it's time to Rango Tango. I shouldn't be going for the prisoners. Great, prisoners are kind of on my side, more or less on my side. <laughs> no monsters though. It's uh, curious, oh, don't mind me. <laughs> maybe this is the monster. You know, the SCPs don't miss, Jesus Christ, no, that that was definitely the monster. <laughs> See, the SCPs don't necessarily have to be creatures. Sometimes they're items. And this thing definitely seems a, a bit supernatural. Oh, you're upset that I took your fix-it katana. Well, you, come on, sit down. <laughs> I keep getting to the, the center of their heads in just one swipe. It, it's gotta have some kind of magic to it. Oh, right, Fluffles, I said I would come back for you. Didn't I? Oh, oh, you shocked me. I, I thought that was just, you know, the, the consequences of my guilt from cutting down Fluffles. Oh no, Jamal! Jamal's left his throne! Jamal, are you still here? Jamal! Oh crap, okay, well, I guess it's just me. Funny enough, not the biggest mess I've seen in this cafeteria. Last Taco Tuesday was a real burn burner. How are we doing, guys? I feel like we're, we're getting there. There are only half a dozen prisoners left. <gasps> Did this actually work? Am I gonna escape and leave no one left behind? I thought for sure there would be an SCP around here somewhere. Wait, Jamal? No, you're not Jamal, you got a mustache. One person alive and I don't know where. Oh, it is you. <laughs> Can we maybe get out of here, please? Does it need to be like this? Come on, don't, don't do it, don't make me, don't make me do it. <laughs> Damn it, man. Ah, <sighs> all right, well, we didn't encounter any SCPs, which I guess was kind of the point. I, I didn't want to become SCP poop. <laughs> that is assuming I escaped. Well, so much for that plan, because we've got SCP Death Row Part Two, where it looks like the SCP Foundation are not quite ready to let me and Fluffles go. Wait, you did survive? Where did you find an electric guitar between the time that we left the jail block and the time that we reached the surface? <laughs> Actually, you know what? I don't wanna know. Just keep playing music, keep lightening the moods. Uh, maybe I can negotiate terms with the director. Yeah, that's right, I've got terms. Uh, term number one, uh, Fluffles gets to keep the guitar. Term number two, uh, Jamal gets new butt cheeks if he is or isn't alive. Both ways, you gotta bury the butt cheeks with him. Term number three, I get to jump on your head. Oh, that's awkward. <laughs> you boys wouldn't mind if I head into the employees only facility, would you? You kidding me right now? Am I invisible or something? Maybe I'm the SCP, I've always thought that was the case. I've got way too many supernatural abilities to be considered uh, D-class personnel. Hey, we got ourselves some displayed box steroids. 
don't mind if I do. Oh, yes, please. And we have a friend in the chef. Good to know. Hold up a minute. If the SCP Foundation is behind me, then who are these guys? They look completely different. They look like snow G.I. Joes with pointy baseball bats. The reason you guys are slowly moving toward me? Oh, that's not good. Do you have any interest in hurting me? Honestly, though, am I invisible? <laughs> uh, oh, oh, okay. I think they might be on my side. Or they want to take down the SCP Foundation. Either way, I need to get back to Fluffles. I'm coming, buddy. Don't worry. <laughs> Just gonna fire into the crowd and, and try not to hit you. Leave them alone, leave them alone. Oh my God, there's so many of them and so many shields. <laughs> That's not good, I need weapons. I got Chef Boy RD as backup. Don't worry, Fluffles, we're coming for you, buds. <laughs> you just keep getting gang banged by that group of dudes. Again, Fluffles always manages to turn it into something about himself. I'm backed into a corner. Could I borrow that hammer real quick? Thank you. <laughs> you gotta be polite about things even though I, I didn't technically say please. I'll give it back, it'll be almost as good as new. It's in that guy's skull right now, but she'll be able to find it. Or maybe she won't. I don't know if she's gonna be able to eat solid foods ever again. Doesn't matter, as so long as my friends are alive. Okay, the white people are turning on me. Ow, ow, hurts. So what exactly is going on in the party tent? I don't suppose I could find myself a pretty sweet weapon in here. Okay, I'll, I'll take some more of that. Oh my God, they're everywhere. Ow, ow, everything hurts. Okay, you know what? That is enough. Everybody sit down. I'm the guy with the pointy bat now. I can't really tell you to stop in the name of the law because the law isn't really on my side, but stop in the name of love or I'll, I'll tase you in the balls. You really gotta love how non-lethal these sticks are. I swear, sometimes you hit people and they just explode like grapes. I still don't know who these northern ninjas are. For real, they just showed up out of nowhere and they're the main enemy. I gotta be a lot more concerned with them than with the SCP Foundation. How about we just do a little ow? Okay, that hurts, dick move. Just gonna go ahead and play you some Five finger music to the jaw. Please, please, please let me kill you. Please die. Everything hurts. Everything hurts. I am so close to dying. No, 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 big guy. Sit down. Timber. There we go. Oh, no. So am I not going to escape the SCP Foundation? Because I got assassinated by Canadian ninjas. Great. Our final level for today is called Kindergarten. Some of you guys may remember that I did an entire series on the game Kindergarten and Kindergarten 2. Really funny games, and I get the feeling this is gonna be a big level. Not just because it's based on two full games, but because when I turn my head, things look a little weird. Which means it's probably not super optimized because there is so much going on. I'm gonna take a little bit of money to school with me, I think. You never know when you're gonna have to pay off a bully, Bugs. Bugs, I'm too big for this now. I, I don't need to put up with you anymore. <laughs> I wish I could have done that a long time ago. Oh, don't get up. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's what, oh, I thought he was gonna run off. Apparently not. Okay, hold on a second. We, we just gotta bludgeon you to death real quick. What a way to start the day. Is now a good time to remind people that these aren't actually children? Like they're as smart as adults, they hit like adults, I, I think they may actually be white shape-shifting aliens, but either way, now that the bully's head has been reduced to a puddle, let's go to class. <laughs> Don't wanna be late. And of course, my only friend is Nugget. <laughs> it's weird seeing you guys so little. Usually I'm the same height as you, now I, I feel a little out of place, speaking of out of place, Monty, shouldn't you be in a wheelchair? I can always fix that, I do have a tire iron. Let me see those knees. <laughs> oh, 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 I see how it is. We're all friends now, are we? Well, isn't that just cute? Oh, oh, they actually hit kind of hard. It's like that old question, you know, would you rather fight a hundred duck-sized fighter or one fighter-sized duck? In this case, it's kind of difficult to swing for them when you're you're so low, and if I if I bend down to get on your height, then I get the feeling 
They're just gonna knock me out. Do you see what I mean? Well, 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 if it isn't the consequences of my own decisions. This time with Teddy so bountiful, they may actually crush me to death. Uh, Miss Applegate, could I maybe not go to detention? How about I just slowly back away and we both pretend like I didn't just introduce a tire iron to one of your students' knees? Better yet, how about I just head into class? I don't know if I have a hall pass. Are, are we cool? We might not be cool. Uh, how about I just go in here? I'll give it up, she's quick and quiet for a big broad. <laughs> Everyone's in here. And of course, Nugget isn't given a seat. Uh, I'm gonna assume I do have a hall pass and if I don't, then I could always just cave your head in anyway. Let's go to the whammons room. Oh, would you look at that? I don't have a hall pass, which is why I physically cannot walk past you. <laughs> Everyone still has their cubby items, so I, I could take a, a bowie knife, some money, an orange, a key card, or some smokes. I'm just afraid if I grab something, she's actually going to crush me to death with the weight of her massive bosoms. It's a serious concern, but I'm gonna have to take the risk. Don't look at her, just, just walk away. Now that I have the key, I can actually get past. That's hilarious. I don't want to go in here right now. I didn't even notice the men's room. This is probably the place I should go first. Hey, that would make a whole lot of sense. Fluffles, you wouldn't be in here. This is not your universe. Uh, who took a dump in the urinal? <laughs> Dick move. That was probably Bugs. He, he had what's coming to him. Is it an all new day? I thought I splattered you on my lawn. I'm seeing something real unique in the women's room, and you are not gonna snitch on me when I go in there. If you turn your head, it may explode. <laughs> Fair warning, that's interesting. Dear Jesus, that's just impressive. <gasps> I'm not gonna go rifling around in that. More so interested in what's going on behind the magic door. What the hell is this? Oh no, it's Bitcoin! I can, oh, I see. Okay, bit of a developer room, just hidden away with stuff that I can't take. No, I don't want the, the keg. I wanted the gun. No, I don't want that gun. I, I'll, I'll keep my tire iron. You know, I, I've already had quite a bit of experience with it. Let's go in the cafeteria. <laughs> The janitor's already bludgeoning someone to death. And by someone, I mean Monty, which is fitting. I couldn't get him earlier. I'm happy one of us did. Looks like Bugs also got what was coming to him. Can I go in here? Um. Oh, the principal's office. I'm gonna back away slowly from that situation. <laughs> Might go in there again later, but... I, I gotta find some way of not pissing off the staff while still grabbing stuff like key cards and going through staff doors. I would assume this is the staff room. Oh no, we're outside. Oh, okay, yeah, we're just outside playing and he's digging his hole, which I can go down. Is this an escape? That kind of looks like an exit. I don't know. Uh. I kinda wanna see what's going on in the principal's office if that's gonna be the escape. Because there's definitely something, oh, freaking biscuit stand, get out of the way. We know there's something weird going on right here. Oh, I don't wanna touch that because he'll shoot me in the head. Yeah, you see, he's got that gun tucked away just enough so the other teachers don't see it, but he's on the edge of his seat waiting to use it. So maybe we'll avoid your little secret for now. I don't really need to know which kids are or aren't aliens at the moment. Let's see if we can go down Nugget's hole. Might be something interesting waiting for us here. Oh, it's an escape. We, we did it. I survived kindergarten. Now to kill them all. Well, Bugs was kind enough to lend us his tire iron, but I don't know what happened to him. So strange. Just disappeared. Oh, um, Cindy, is it? I think, 
Doesn't matter. You don't need a name on your grave. Listen, it has been a long time since I've played this game, so you're gonna have to spare me if I don't remember every single character's name. I can kill the protagonist easy enough, though. Oh, right! I forgot that I've got Nugget on my side. You got this, Nugget. Everything is gonna be fine. Nuggets? Nuggets? Where are you going, Chief? Just gonna go wander off into the woods, I suppose? Why am I not surprised? Can I give you a whack? No? Of course you're invincible. Uh, well, I don't suppose I can uh, murder you. <laughs> yep, turns out, oh, oh, you, you really? Are you kidding me right now? Jerome, you like the hall monitor? Nobody likes the hall monitor. <laughs> Not even the invisible wall like the hall monitor. <laughs> you just keep watching, Mrs. Applegate. I, I know you don't give a rat's ass about what happens in here. Guys, I, I'm not gonna lie, we might have a bit of a problem. I think after Nugget went on his spirit quest, he came back a, a changed man. He doesn't like me anymore. Might be because I hurt his face. Might be because I put Monty's pieces into his cubby. But he's kind of invincible. Or was. All right, well, that seems to have worked. Oh, I need the key. Go ahead and grab this real quick. You're still good? Wonderful, moving on. How are things? Going in here, still fine. I've been meaning to pick a fight with you for a long time, old man. It has been a hot minute since I've been able to take out my revenge on you. I could use his mop now. Where, where, where'd it go? Mop, oh, there it is. There's the old trusty mop. You get a mopping. And you get a mopping. And the principal gets a mopping. That's right. I want to check out your room and I will do it. Don't get up. My goods? You can kill me from beyond the grave. Okay, I kind of had that coming. But you know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Paint the Town Red, guys. And I know there are a lot of you who wanna see Paint the Town Red more frequently on the channel, but the problem with that is I can't really upload a video with a thumbnail of like another prison fight or another bar brawl because it's stuff that people have been seeing uploaded to YouTube for like five plus years now. But if I can upload a video with a picture of a 3D Mrs. Applegate, then that's gonna make people interested. And then I can show them stuff like the SCP Prison Break, which is actually entertaining. So I'm gonna keep an eye on the workshop and as people make more stuff, I'll be sure to save it. And if you wanna see it, then as always, be sure to leave a like in the video, leave a comment letting me know, and I'll return to play more Paint the Town Red whenever I can. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.